Hi guys, and uh, well, more Prezzies have arrived at home, and this time it is the Black Magic Web Presenter that's come in. Uh, we got the Terex Mini Panel that clicks on the front. I uh, got a few extra features on that that I think are going to be essential if you want to do the job properly. And we've got the ATM, the Television Studio High Definition. Uh, again, from Black Magic, they've just arrived in. I've never had this kind of gear before, uh, but we are setting up. We've got the array uh, rack mount system ready to go for it. So I thought, why don't I just open it with you guys and we can see what you get in the box from Black Magic. Uh, I've heard a lot of rave reviews. I've looked at some of the reviews online, obviously did some research of what we wanted. The reason we went with this is because running a TV studio, we do have several cameras. This will take several cameras in. We also want to be able to mix in our uh, presentations of the, of the computers. And as you guys know, we use a, a Lumix GH4 and that's what we're shooting on there. And we're using the 12 to 35 millimeter uh, 2.8 aperture lens on it and that's what I'm shooting on right now and I'm using the Rode Pro microphone. Okay, this is the ATM Television Studio. I've just taken a plastic wrapper off. It, uh, it's, it's got a fair bit of weight in it. I was actually surprised. I thought I was gonna get something that was pretty lightweight. Um, don't know why, but you know, sometimes electronic gear, when you get it, you may be expecting something a bit different. Oh, this is nice. Uh, I'll just put that box out of the way. And you saw me say, that's nice. That's the welcome package They're right in the uh, top of this thing. And um, right, thank you for selecting Black Magic Design for work. It's actually got a software and manual. Ha, don't you love that? It's on a little, uh, on a little SD card. That's much better. <laughs> Beats reading all those books. Uh, something a free download of Black Magic uh, Design. Something Play of the Day Fusion Nine. Uh, something I suppose I'll go through. Vector Paint, Import Paint Shop. Looks like you get a little bit of stuff. I'll have a look at that in a little bit more detail, so I can tell you guys what's going on. And when we get back into the studio, and I'm not at home, I'm wrapping presents. We'll show you how we're going to load it all up. Okay, some uh, little stoppers there. It looks like the feet stoppers for it. Uh, we are going to mount it in an array um, rack mount system. Okay, so the back of it is opened up to you guys with all the switching on here. One thing I do know from using uh, GH4s, it does have the uh, HDI, HDMI inputs, but it depends on distance. And I've had a few warnings on the distance you're going to take the HDMI out of out of your camera and put it into here and what distance you can actually travel. So what we have done is we've well, got SDI inputs that you can run them for, you know, for miles, maybe not miles, but you know what I mean, a long way. It's far better to get the little switcher panel for that. And we've got the SDI converters. I've ordered them in. I'll show you them when I'm back in the studio. And what we're going to do is run a little short coil cord out of the GH4 into the SDI to convert it, then run the SDI lead to the distance we want to where the desk is going to be. And this is going to be set up and um, pop it straight into here. This is the front of the panel. Beautiful. Uh, so I take there all the switches. It's got the on and offs. Um, basically what you can do is the arm, the camera that you want or the uh, computer that you want. And then when you press go, it'll show you a little screen of actually what's playing. Absolutely beautiful. An SD uh, recorder we're going to get underneath this a little bit later. It's got other switches on there. Yeah, it's got disc one. Uh, it's got your different, you can switch on auto. What I like about this system as well is when you switch from camera to camera, you can choose whether you want a jump cut, you know, real sharp, or you can get a nice fade. So you get to choose that with this piece of equipment here. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll just pop that back into its little carry case. Anyone that knows me knows I'm really fussy about uh, packaging and packages and 
hate to uh, <laughs> see those things not looked after absolutely gorgeous so that's how it actually came i think when you get something that looks like quality you start to feel a little bit more confident that you've perhaps made the right buying decision remember these things aren't cheap either um, but that is that now that's how we're going to control everything uh, but probably like myself you're all looking to uh, do live over the internet say uh, live of uh, youtube like as we do and live over facebook so that is the switch that will control stuff for you let's put that out of the way the piece of equipment that this is after all the research we did um it is the black magic web presenter what this will do is will take your 4k footage that you're streaming out word of warning on this and just well a bit of advice i suppose both cameras, see you're using two cameras. Let's say on a two camera setup, both must have the same output to go into the ATM television studio. Um, so whatever you've got going here, whatever the settings are on your cameras, make sure the settings and the computer outputs are the same, or this will not pick them up. They must be the same for them to pick them up. And then what happens, this links into the back, into the back of this little piece of magic. What this does is compress it for your 720. So you don't have to do any work and don't have to worry about it. It will do it all for you. What I like as well, um, apart from doing all the work, it's got a few little ideas on here. So you can just go to Twitch TV, you can go Facebook Live, you can go YouTube Live, use it on Skype. Uh, a couple of other things on here as well. It's going to be really interesting when I get it back into the studio and we start assembling this. It's about the only bit of wrapper I don't save from my equipment. Um, everything else I like to. Let's see if this is packed just as nicely as the TV presenter. Well, it's got this little tab stuck under there. Let's just take this out. Okay. So it is the black magic. Well, there you go. Consistency is what we do like. This is another gold brochure that has come in saying, Welcome. Thank you for choosing. Yes, thank you for selecting black magic design to work for you. Again, the software on the SD. So that's going to take a little bit of playing with um, to put that together. Okay, here is. The web presenter itself, some more of the same style feet was in the box there. I'll put them back. Um, what have we got on the front here? Looks like you've got some output. The box, oh yes, little USB output in there can go in there. What you'll see though on this, that's pretty bland, yeah? No control. As soon as you connect into the back, and I bet it's got outputs. Yes, it's got outputs as well. So we can output over this into record if you want to record everything in 720. I'd prefer to take it out of the uh, ATM directly, but there's the HDMI in. And I think because this is going to sit right next to the uh, television studio, I don't think we have a problem with HDMI to HDMI. However, if you've got SD, just connect SD, stereo in. Yep, so it's got sounds coming in. One thing they do not give you, Power adapter, no plug. Well, who knows? Don't know why. I suppose it cost a few bucks more. Make it a little bit more palatable for you to buy if they save you five bucks or whatever. Um, I think it's a nuisance. I know guys will say, well, you can just pop down the shop and just get one. Hmm. I've just bought it, unwrapped it, I'm ready to load it up, and now I've got to pop down the shop to get a lead. Okay, so just a word of warning. If you're buying this, remember, you get a power cord first or you're going to get frustrated popping down the shop to buy a lead before you can connect the thing up okay i'm going to put this away just for a moment um, make sure it fits back into this box nicely um, look after your gear and your your gear will look after you let's go pop that back in here i'm going to actually take this into the studio and show you guys how easy or how difficult <laughs> This thing is actually to put together. I'm not quite sure. Getting it back in the box is a pain. I know that. Um, plastics. Don't you hate plastics? And they just don't line them up right. Ah, oh, yes. 
is, I'm not quite sure about this, frustrating. Got the cameras running, you try to put something away and they make it so the plastic start catching on the gear. My, not a good look. Even though some people say, well, you're not meant to be putting it away, you're meant to be doing the unboxing. But since we're unboxing, I'm going to take it back into the studios tomorrow. We want to make sure that we put this thing away properly, don't we? Okay, look after you, again, it'll look after you. It's actually got quite a bit of extension uh, descriptions on the back, designed for internet broadcasting, no drivers required, optional live production switcher, yeah, we've got that. Uh, the 10x quality conversions, broadcast quality connection, thank you. And automatic video input and resync. Got some technical specifications on that as well. Okay, that's what you want. My recommendation, if you're going to get that, get the Taranex Mini Smart Panel. Remember, I showed you the front of the panel. Not much info on it. This little baby takes care. You have to unscrew the front of that and have to screw this thing on. Let's have a look at what this is looking like inside here. Some people are going to comment on how dirty my scissors are. Uh, I had that comment once before in one of my other videos. It looks like you were doing gardening with them. Well, actually, I was actually cutting some shade cloth with them, guys. Okay. Let's get rid of that plastic. We don't want that stuff there. It actually shows you here it's quite simple to put on. <laughs> we'll find out, won't we, when we go to the studio. Um, let's open the Taranex up. Let's see if the thing will open. I got fat fingers, so some of these things just don't like to open up for me. Uh, let's see if the yellow side is better. Now, why would that be so? Guys, open up the yellow side, it's easier. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, this is packaged a little bit differently. Silver foil, and here it is. Obviously, to keep it dry, attention. Uh, observed precautions for handling electrostatic sensitive devices. So now we know why it's packaged like this and we will take some care with it. Okay, let's slip it out. This is a componentry to buy on top. Now you've got the, the screen. Uh, you can have your menu button. You've got a video. You've got the audio you can now set. There is a USB feed in on this part here. Once again, let's have a look behind there. Uh, it is blank, so obviously it's going to replace. It clicks on the front of that with that feed in there. Going to be interesting to have a look at this. See how all these little knobs and dials work. Um, I notice on the back it's got a series of pins. So I guess when you take the front of this one off, your line, click it in. Some screws. So I guess that's what's going to happen on that. I'm not going to do it tonight uh, because I am home uh, and I like to take things in their packaging. But when I get to the studio tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack this for you. I'm going to show you as I start to put it all together. So stay tuned. We'll have a look at how hard or how easy this thing is. The results that come from it, we'll do a couple of tests, live broadcasts, so we're quite excited. I'll show you the uh, Aurora um, panel, the, or the, uh, the the rack that I've got for it. I bought an actual shelf as well to pop in there, just to rest cables on and so forth. And I've got the Twin TV set as well to show you tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned. Look, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell as you become a super subscriber. Uh, that really helps us out on the channel as well. Plus, it means that as we start loading more information into running your own broadcast studio and running GH4s and uh, television studios, the ATM television studio that we popped to one side. Jeez, I can't wait to get to work tomorrow now. It's going to be exciting. You'll be notified. And we really do appreciate your support. Look, hit the subscribe. Hit the little bell and stay tuned and i hope to see you next time